Hey everyone, it's Sky Schooley here, a staff writer with business.com. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the user permission settings that you can manage with the Trinet platform. Let's dive right in. So this is the Trinet homepage that someone with administrative privileges would see. With it, you can view important information like pending tasks, payroll reminders, and other employee details. In this video, we're focusing on setting permissions for individual employees. So first you would click over on the employees tab on over here on the left rail. From the employees tab, you can manage a bunch of different employee information like setting job pay rates, managing time off and assigning managers. To look up or modify details for individual employees, such as permissions, go into the manage employees tab. All of your employees will show here and you can easily use the search function to find an employee if needed. So for this example, we'll go into Gina Davis's profile. Okay, so now that we're on Gina's profile, we can click into the permissions tab to set admin manager access. Here you'll see the permissions that are already assigned to Gina. Or we can simply click the edit permissions button over here on the right to edit her access. We like that Trinet has several different permissions available and each one can easily be toggled on or off for each individual employee. This just allows you to customize the level of access that each employee has. So first you'll see standard permissions for benefits administration and document management. If you scroll further, you'll see that Trinet has some different HR resource permissions as well. So in this example, Gina has access to every HR permission. She is listed as an HR administrator and she can make HR authorizations, enter new hire information, complete employee I-9 verifications, and start immigration services case. She can change managers and access manager forms, and she even has the advanced capability to view compensation rates and job history for direct reports. Although these are all selected for Gina, you could easily restrict her access by deselecting any appropriate box. Trinet also has a pretty decent selection of payroll permissions. This includes settings geared around payroll entry capabilities, as well as savings plan administration and earning statements. One thing that we like here is that Trinet offers simple definitions of each role, so the employer knows ex the exact visibility they're granting that employee or trusted advisor. Next, you'll see important security settings like HR security, integration administration, and workforce analytics administration. And lastly, you can set time off permissions. So in this example, Gina can approve and decline other employees' time off requests, but she isn't listed as the top of hierarchy. All right, so that was just a quick peek at some of the type of permission settings you can view and manage with Trinet. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And for more business-related content, subscribe to our channel.